Welcome to Pete. Hi, I'm Jacob. Let's talk about how to make parallax photos with AI and Blender. So firstly, we need to go to Stable Diffusion Affinity. Then, once we're there, we're going to scroll down to Hug and Face Faces and click that. Then, if you want, you can resize it. I normally resize 800 by 800, because that gives you a nice large image. Then, you want to put in your prompt and click out. Okay. Once that's done, a few moments later. If you're happy, click Reset, then go to Export Image and click OK. Next step is to remove the background from the subject. I'm just going to use a free online one. Drag and drop your image. If it did a good job, else you click Edit. But this did a good job, so we can just download the image. Now, we go back to Table Diffusion Affinity. Erase our subject. Then, change your prompt to not have the subject in it. Then click out page. After many attempts, and once you're happy, click accept, then download. Now, we need to get Blender. Just type Blender to Google. Go to Blender. Go to Downloads, and go to Other Versions, and download the latest. So we go to wherever it's downloaded, extract it, and then click Blender.exe. Now, we want to go to 2D Animation, or click File, New, 2D Animation. Change it from Draw Mode to Object Mode, then go to Edit, Preferences, and type Images. Make sure Input Images as plans are ticked. Now, we can click down the middle mouse button and move the mouse to go to 3D View. Then, we need to import the images. To do that, we press Shift A, go down to Images, and Images as plans, and import your two images. Click the image that you want as a background, and then press G, Y, then 10 to move it 10 years back. Then, to go to camera view, we press 0 on numpad, or click view, viewport camera. Then, we want to press S to scale the background, and G to move it where you'd like it. Then, click the camera, go to object properties, and press I. Drag the timeline to the end, then you want to press G and move the camera around to the final position. If you want, you can press GY to move it forward to zoom in. Then, once we are happy, we go to Output, Properties, and go down to Output and File Format and change it to that to F of F MPEG. Sorry. Then, go to Render and click Render Animation. Once that is done, you can find it here. Thanks for watching. Links in the description. Have a good one.